Congratulations. You deserve this. But are you sure it's a good time? What do you mean? What with your dad and that? I think this could be good for me. Yeah, it's unsure. Well, you put some doubt in my mind now. I just want you to be sure. Is this the best thing for you? The best thing for me or the best thing for you? Where did that come from? I'm sorry, I just... I don't know why you had to bring my dad's health into it. You know, my mum said the same. Just proper guilt tripping me. Did you speak to her? When would I speak to your mum? I'm sorry. I'm going up in the world. I'm happy for you. Are you? Of course. It was 18 months ago to the day. We were stood outside a swanky restaurant in Paris. I was in my brand new dress, pretending my 300 euro shoes weren't giving me blisters. Him in his best three piece. He played his best game that night. We were set for life. The ring on my finger glittered under the moon almost as much as his eyes. I've never been so happy. Then it happened. I don't know how the Russians found him, but someone must have ride. With the loudest bang I'd ever heard, my whole life was taken from me. He was gone. I didn't even get the chance to tell him about the baby. But the worst part is, he could still be out there. We made a promise to each other. If anything happened to the other, we'd look after ourselves. I only can't believe I went through with that. What's your latest project, Anna? Darren McBarbians. How nice. The beauty of ugliness. What are you doing with Larry? Everything. I like your bed. You should come round one night. Come and watch your husband blubbering into his pillow. It might help you develop a conscience. I know what I've done. His big thing at the moment is how upset his family are. Apparently, they all worship you. They can't understand why you had to ruin everything. He spends hours staring at my arsehole like there's going to be some answer there. Any ideas, Anna? Why don't you go back to him? And then Dan would go back to you. Maybe. Ask him. I'm not a beggar. Dan left you. I didn't force him to go. You made yourself available. Don't weasel out of it. Screwing Larry was a big mistake. Yeah, well, everyone screws Larry around here. Well, Dan's a little girl. He won't like it. So don't tell him. I think you owe me that. She even looks beautiful when she's angry. The perfect woman. Just fucking stop it. It's not a competition. Yes, it is. I don't want to fight. So give in. Why did you do this? He was in the quicksand and clutching at me, but I wasn't holding him out. I was sliding in with him. I didn't know that. I didn't know anything except I loved him unendurably, but without being able to help him or help myself. Then I found out in the worst of all possible ways. By coming suddenly into a room that I thought was empty, but which wasn't empty, but had two people in it. Afterwards, we pretended nothing had been discovered. Yes, the three of us drove out to Moonlight Casino, very drunk and laughing all the way. We danced the Varsuviana. Suddenly in the middle of the dance, the boy I had married broke away and ran out of the casino. A few moments later, a shot. One afternoon, a young man sat beside me and pressed his knee into mine. I moved over two seats, but he followed and continued with this pressure. I jumped up and screamed, Mr. Shannon. He was arrested for molesting a minor. The second experience was much more recent, only two years ago when Nono and I were working the Raffles Hotel in Singapore and doing very well, making expenses and more. One evening in the Palm Court of the Raffles, we met this middle-aged sort of nondescript Australian salesman. You know, plump, 
bald spotted with a terrible attempt at speaking with an upper class accent and terribly over friendly. He was alone and looked lonely.